This is moving rows between multiple sheets when a condition is met. This is actually a modification of a former script where rows would move from the new sheet to the in progress sheet to the complete sheet as the status is changed. But this setup is a little bit different. Rather than having a single linear flow, I have multiple sheets with multiple items that are going to different sheets. So I have a new red and a complete red, a new blue and a complete blue. And I only want things to move that way. I only want red things to stay on the red sheets, blue things to stay on the blue sheets. It's gonna be really straightforward. Rather than the status matching, I'm not putting complete red here in the status. It's simply going to move based on which sheet the edit occurred on and move to the correct sheet. So looking at the script, first thing I want, if the value isn't complete, if they write anything else, just kick out. That's the condition we're looking for is marking the status complete. The spreadsheet and the active sheet, this active sheet is where that edit occurred on and it's gonna be very useful later. Now here I declared an uninstantiated variable dest or destination. I'm going to instantiate that to whichever destination sheet should happen based on which sheet the edit occurred on. So really straightforward in this case. If ss.getName, so get the name of the active sheet where the edit occurred, is new red, then set dest equal to the complete red sheet. And otherwise, if it is new blue, set it to complete blue. And if there's anything else, just return. We're not dealing with any other values, so if there's other sheets on here, we don't wanna be messing with those. Since I've now declared the dest variable, it's really easy to move. Since the source, is, or since the active sheet is where the edit occurred, I don't need to call that again. I can just say ss.getRange, so get the range you're looking at, and I'm looking for the row where the edit occurred, column one, and I'm looking at only one row and four columns. Let me just write out that out for you so you see what that entire header looks like. So ss.getRange, and get range first ask for any row and any column. I want it to be the row the edit occurred on e.range.row start and then any column. And since my data is from A, starts at A, I want column one. Then if I continue it, it asks for a number of rows. We're moving one row and then continuing it this, the important one I want is the number of columns. I do want all four columns. So that's the full header of the get range is the start row, the start column, how many rows, and how many columns. I'm copying that to the destination, which was declared here. So it's gonna to go to the correct destination, dot get range. And the range I want here is the last row of the destination sheet plus one. Because if I come here, the last row is row one. I don't want it to always be overwriting that same row. So get last row plus one and same thing, column one, one row and four columns. And then after it's copied it over, go ahead and delete the row from the source. Let's try that. So I have number N53 for $37. I'm moving that, changing that to complete. And that is now in the complete red. Let's try one from the complete blue. Let's do this last one. So N28, $110. And that is well moved over. So again, the only thing that changed is I had this if statement just declaring which or instantiating the dest variable based on which sheet the edit occurred on. There's several other ways you, this could be done. I could set this up in a switch statement or I could even set up an array. So I could have const 
in sheets. And here I could have new red, new blue, and const out sheets. Complete red, complete blue. Which I actually put the equal sign. And then if I have it set up like this, I would set dest equals out sheets in sheets index of ss something like this where instead of using the if statement I would just say basically get the index in out sheets of the in sheets where the edit occurred. I think the if statement is the easiest way to visualize this. If I were doing this for real, I would and, and had more sheets, especially if I had more sheets, I would set up this array version. It's just easier to expand because if then I have a new green, I can just add that here. And it will continue to work the same. But for simplicity, it's going to have the if statement. I'll go ahead and leave this version commented so that you can see that as well. But that's how I would set this up to do more sheets. But for really simple, two or three input sheets going to two or three output sheets, an if statement is really clear just to see what's going on. Thanks for watching. As always, I try to watch the comments. You can always email me or connect with me on other social media.